Today I want to show you an Avon 315 Rover. Now this boat's pretty cool. It's made out of Hypalon. This is a 1991 and I want to show you some of the features that it has. So as you can see here, the maximum horsepower is 10 horse and it can hold 825 pounds, max loads 924. It's got a nice bracket there to mount the outboard on. You've got the oar locks, which are nice. You don't have the pin locks. I don't really like the pin locks. Now up here on the valves, it's got an inflatable keel, so you get the, the V bottom. And then on the valves, you've got the caps. You can take the caps off. And to release the air, you can push the caps in and turn them counterclockwise, and that lets the air out and they'll lock in that position. So you can turn it counterclockwise, lock it with your finger. So you press in, turn, and then let off, and it'll lock, and that'll let all the air out. And then to inflate it, you can push it in and just turn it to the right. Now when we're putting one of these together, it's pretty basic. You just fill up the, the side tubes about two thirds of the way, and you leave the keel um, empty like that so I'm gonna let some of this air out it's expanded because of the sunlight okay that's plenty and do this side that's plenty and now I'm gonna unroll the floor and I'm gonna place it in now on the floor what you do is you unroll it you set it in the boat towards the rear with the rear hanging over the transom a little bit and then you push it forward into the front part and it'll lock underneath the tubes and then you can push the the back part down and I'll show you that right now all right so I've placed the floor in like I said and it's not all the way to the front yet and I press it down below the bottom of the tubes on the front and towards the middle now I'm gonna go ahead and come to the back and you see how right there, those aren't perfectly lined up. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be pretty close. And how you line those up is you, you bend it, and then you can slide these side to side. So you just want to line them, slide them until they line up. Now, this should be close enough. Okay, so I'm going to show you a trick on how to get that floor into the forward position. What you do is you bend the panels up like this a little bit so you can get your hand in there like that and just push forward and that'll get it all the way forward. Now once you've got that, you can roll it back and get it under the tubes where it belongs. Kinda hard to do one handed. There we go. Okay, for the last part of this floor, we actually need to come back. See, these holes will match up with the holes in the transom. Okay, as you can see, I've got the floor all the way in the back position. And the holes in the floor piece line up with the holes in the transom. Now you're gonna take this piece, and you're gonna take these nylock nuts off, and the washers that are on this side, and you're gonna Put that there, you put the bolts through the transom, and then you go ahead and put the washers and the nuts on this side. Now when the washers suck up against the neoprene there on the transom, that seals them so it doesn't leak. Of course, like most boats, this one has a plug. Plug goes right there. Now an interesting thing to note on this one is that since this floor rolls up, when you're underway, you need the trim on your outboard set correctly so that it's perpendicular to the boat. That way, when you're going through the water, the bow doesn't raise up too much, but you don't, you know, plow water with the boat. And since this floor rolls up, if you plow water with the boat, the boat will flex under the pressure of the water. Now, that's normal. You can expect that until you get up on a plane. 
but a lot of people wouldn't realize that when they first got this boat they would expect the floor to be totally rigid but it's not uh, on the plus side with this floor as you can see it's made out of plastic now a lot of the newer Zodiacs and uh, inflatables have wooden floors and once the paint chips off you they're susceptible to rotting and oddly enough I've seen a lot of dry rot so this plastic floor is actually really cool for that reason so now that you've got the floor in you can go ahead and inflate these tubes the rest of the way and you can inflate the keel and that's going to give this the V bottom that's going to help it handle a lot better now I'm really a big fan of this boat I also had a 1997 Quicksilver and it was made of um, PVC and this even though it's older it's six years older it's a lot more flexible and I like this boat a lot more it seems to be a lot better built than the Quicksilver was I like how the high plan is more flexible I can fold it up and put it in the roof bag on my car or just in the trunk of my car with the outboard so any even if you had like a Toyota Camry or just any car with a regular trunk this boat would fit in it whereas the PVC is a lot more rigid and it's harder to get it to fold up so that's that's a huge plus on these Hypalon boats now one thing that's also important to note is even though this is a 10 foot boat if you notice the the back comes down to this cone shape and the front has like a foot and a half of a tube there between here and here so that's space that's not usable it's a person can sit on that I suppose but it wouldn't be safe and then those cones count as your length part of your length as well so even though it's a 10 foot boat it's more like an 8 foot boat but overall it's super cool we love to put it on top of our car we've taken it many places and it's a great boat I would definitely buy a high plan boat if I was gonna buy another one of these but we've kind of moved on to the aluminum boats so one thing I forgot to show you is these bench plates I don't know if that's what they're actually called but they're pretty simple they just go in here it looks like a handle on the side of the boat there and the uh, oh, and the little lips that come off of the the seat plate there lock into those handles once those are in you can inflate the tubes the rest of the way and that includes the keel tube so overall this is a pretty sweet boat it's great if you've got a family or you don't want to take a trailer with you and you just want to take a car on say a camping trip or something like that we've taken this in the bay we've taken it into very large bodies of water and with a 9.9 .9 outboard on it it was fantastic I, I highly recommend this uh, I know it's the Avon is owned by Zodiac and if I was gonna buy another one of these I would definitely buy an Avon or a Zodiac that was hypalon so I hope this video helped you guys out and have a great day